Over the past few decades or so, women have made incredible progress towards equality in the workplace. A majority of women of working age are now employed full time in this country, which is nearly double of what it was in 1990. And in the construction industry, women are now starting to move the needle. Hello, welcome back to another edition of Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. In the U.S. construction industry, women only make up about 2% of the workforce. But in Charlotte, North Carolina, they're trying to change that. They've got a lot of work coming up, and it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It just needs to get done. When the NECA IBEW Powering America team in North Carolina began outreach to fill the growing gap in the labor shortage, women started to step up and answer the call. Now, contractors and locals around the U.S. are trying to follow suit, letting women know that a career in the electrical industry is something worth considering. To get women interested in the trade, a lot of times, first of all, it's not something that they ever even considered. It's just not in the norms that society expresses to us. And so when I talk to women about it, I'm like, look, our apprenticeship program is a four-year program. Family health insurance, retirement benefits, like, if nothing else, you will have a skill that will feed your family for the rest of your life. The NECA IBEW Powering America team are paving the way and setting the standard for the industry moving forward. It's good to be working for an organization that like takes care of its workers. As the outreach designed to recruit women into the electrical trade ramps up, more women are starting to realize that the career possibilities are endless. While women may be the minority in the trades, today they're more accepted in the industry and on the job site than ever before. The recruiting that we're doing now, we're reaching out. We're finding that the females are flocking to uh, our apprenticeships and saying, hey, I think I could do something like this. And they're proving that they can do this in the field. We're going to have this skilled trades gap for a long time. They can get the income, they can get the benefits that they deserve, and there's no glass ceiling in our industry. Um, recently, I was promoted to uh, assistant project manager. You don't always just have to be an electrician. There's so many avenues that you can go. Women in industry have a career moving forward. It's just not today to fill a need of labor. They have an opportunity to become project managers, estimators. There's a whole career that will take them to really wherever they want to go. Nowadays, it's a lot more acceptable for women to be on the job site. You cannot be afraid to get dirty. You just have to do the job. And with the high demand for labor, contractors have had to depend on women to fill many different roles. At the end of the day, the task at hand doesn't care if you're a man or a woman, just as long as it gets done. It's pretty commonplace now to have some, some women on a job site. And they're proving time and time again that they can, they can do the work you know, not only can they perform the work, they're moving into management levels as well, foreman and general foreman in, in other capacities. They belong with us. They're doing the job day in and day out. They're holding their end of the task up no matter what it is on the job site. The sky's the limit for these individuals, no matter who they are. I feel very accepted. Honestly, they treat me the same as they treat everybody else. Got really lucky with the crew I'm with because, yeah, we all just get along very well. Women are on the move. Women are going to come, and it will happen. I don't care who you are. If you want to come join our ranks and, and work in our industry, we want you. Charlotte hopes that their efforts to recruit more women into the trade can be an example for others in the organized electrical industry to follow. It's definitely a right choice. Um, I myself, as a single mother of three, have been able to provide for my family. It definitely is a great way to put food on the table. You work with a group of guys and women that really treat you like family and that have your best interests at heart. If the work's getting done in a timely and professional manner, doesn't matter who's doing it, okay? It doesn't matter it's a woman, Latino, black or white, blue or green, the work's getting done and they can do the work. Who cares? We are the Powering America team. 
Thanks for watching this edition. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information. For Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.